Hi honeys, how's your day going so far? Mine is going fine. Okay. I just got an early Christmas gift from my oldest daughter, Nicole. She asked me a few days ago, Mom, what you want for Christmas? And I told her what I wanted. She said, you don't need another air fryer. That's what I want, okay? Okay, she said, okay, I know if I don't get it for you, you're going to get it anyway. So she told me my air fryer would be here, I think Wednesday. But today is Tuesday and it's here, y'all. It was on my back porch when I got home from shopping. And let me show y'all in this box. I've already taken it out the box, but uh, this is what it is. Y'all see the name of it. Anyways, it's called Crux. C-R-U-X-G-G. Tri-Zone Air Fryer. And it's 9 quarts. Okay. Let me turn this. Y'all can see this better. This is what it looks like. Like I said, I've already unboxed it. Crux GG. These people help feed the hungry. It's called. Okay, these group of people. I don't know if they're all young men or men and women. It's hard to tell from this picture. Anyway, John Gray, Pierre Sorrell, and Lester Walker. Okay, young men are the Bronx-born culinary collective known as Ghetto Gastro. So y'all can look that up, Ghetto Gastro, from Bronx, New York. Defining their own lane that transcends food, art, music, fashion, and design. The Bronx is part of the team's lifeblood, and every piece of the Ghetto Gastro universe is meant to uplift and celebrate the borough and other places like it as an unsung driver of global culture. Crux GG is committed to the supporting social food programs and for more information I can scan the, the barcode or visit cruxgg.com. So this tag is over the picture so I can't show you how they look and just pulling this tag off it's just gonna mess it up okay so let's get to the actual product I left the booklet in it came in with a little little bitty uh, instruction booklet. Ooh. So I'm getting ready to move my Ninja Foodie Extra Large Grill off the counter and this is going to take its place. So I don't have an extension to plug this in right now but y'all going to see me using this bad boy. Y'all see the Christmas lights through this. So I'm going to turn it around. Kind of heavy. Okay, it has a like a charcoal gray matte finish. Very nice. It has the Crux GG logo up here. It has this kind of handle. It has one handle. It has the instrument panel that will show up when I plug it in. Uh, nothing special to look at on the sides. And it has a polarized plug. One prong is wider than the other. Let's see how it opens. Okay. This is how the basket looks. It's one big basket. But it claims to have tri-zone tri features. 
I can cook in the left side or the right side with this divider. It's a Rebozo Lobo divider. Or I can just take the divider up and just cook in the whole thing. That's a very large cooking area. And it has these little crisper trays with the silicone uh, bumper feet. You got the little handle. And what else? I'm going to show y'all. Let me put this down here. Let me show y'all how it looks under here. And it has two heating elements. And they're like oblong shape. They're not round. And I see the fan under there. Fan here, fan here, heating element here, heating element here. So it's called tri-zone because you can cook in three zones on this air fryer. One, two, or, or three. It has the one basket. I like that. And I like that it doesn't have a separate basket that pulls out of here. I mean, that's extra stuff to be washing, y'all. I don't mind washing these little things. And knowing me, I'll probably be putting foil up under in here. I have to wait and see. And what else can I tell you about this? That's how the bottom of this looks. Let me see how the bottom of this looks without the basket because it makes it heavier. I don't want to slam it down on my glass table either. Crooks GG for household use only. 1700 watts. Okay, that's what I was looking for. And this is serial number. I think the serial number is under there too. And what else did they say? You got the item number. Nine quart tri zone air fryer by Crux GG. Okay. So I already saw Sweet Savant uh, demo and cooking hers. And I saw Doug cooking with Doug demo and cooking his. I saw one other person. He unboxed his. So I'm going to be cooking some chicken. I got my chicken in there already washed and I got the tips cut off. I haven't seasoned it yet. But I'm going to cook the how you can tell if it's a good air fryer or not is how it does chicken in my opinion because I cook mostly chicken how easy this is to put in y'all can't see you know when the air fryer first got real popular I think the first one I had was the um, power XL air fryer and that basket was so hard to put in because it had a neck to doing it you had to scoop it and then put it in there but I mean this is easy my first time doing this it's very easy to pull in and out and the top of this I don't know if, if this is a, a air intake I'm not sure yet but I know I got the two vents in the back. And okay, got arrows on here. I guess it shows you which way is up. I don't know. Do it make a difference? I guess that's it.
Maybe that ain't it. Maybe it showed me which way was down. I don't know yet. Let's see if I put it this way. What's gonna happen? I put that in crooked. Okay, there you go. We got, we got a little guides. Let me see. Okay, the drawer slid in much easier when I put the center divider thing with the arrows going down. Hmm. Okay, we must make a difference. All right, so this is my first look at my Christmas present, y'all. My Crux Gastro, Ghetto Gastro, 9 Quart Trizone Air Fryer in the color Charcoal Gray, and it's a matte. And it also comes in white, it's called Snow. But can't nobody find that. I didn't want no white one, no way. And there's another one on the market that looks like this. It's by Bella. It's by Bella. You can find it at um, Best Buy. It looks like it, it comes in black and it comes in chrome. So it comes in different colors. So I like my Crux GG Air Fryer. So I'm calling my ghetto air fryer because that's part of their name. It's my ghetto air fryer and I like it a lot. And we're going to see how it cooks. Now I didn't tell you about this cord, did I? This cord looks like it's about one, about three foot cord. And it has polarized prongs. Okay. Okay, see that? Trying to get a good thumbnail. Well, I ain't gonna get it with this. There you go. Okay. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up, leave a nice comment, and subscribe to my channel. And you all have a very blessed rest of the day. Bye.